Well, as we touched Thank on this, the, the Spit movie, yeah, right, and then the ATL. Now, it seems like you got thrown into the acting thing because of you being around people and you doing poetry. Right, is that the case? I I wouldn't say thrown into, but yeah, I didn't I didn't I didn't know how big ATL was gonna be. Yeah. I didn't, we didn't know. I didn't know. I thought it was gonna be like about it, about it too. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I just would be like about it, about it. The, too. Yeah, too. You know what I mean? That's what I you, you can't take shit, away from the first one because the first one was dope. Yeah, but it wasn't called ATL. It wasn't, called ATL. it wasn't called ATL. It was called Jelly Beans. That's what they first were going to name it? Yeah, and I read for a char- character named Patches. You know what I mean? And so, like, when you... The seasoning and the, the fucking beauty that these characters and these actors and these kids and these 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 fly motherfuckers put into it made it what well, what you guys saw the yeah. humbleness and the and all that this shit was dope though yeah it was crack but i didn't know i didn't know it was gonna be that i didn't know i man i was just giving will, my all will we get a part two yeah that's a good question well yeah. you you kind of you kind of <laughs> on the cypher set right the, yeah, I was like, be the, on the lookout for atl2 you too. made motherfuckers start talking because of that yeah you're on the bt cypher you ended with that you knew that that was going to be the light to the fuse yeah did you not know that yeah, I thought he I took was, off I, a jacket and everything. I he thought ready. I thought I was able to get some interviews out of it. You know what I mean? And I'm here now, so let's oh, talk about. Sure. You know, no, no, um, no. You know, um, I think there is great energy around an amazing script, and 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 the actors came together, and we 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 were doing something real special, mm-hmm. and so that I can't talk about it because about I, I literally. When you see, when you guys experience what we're gonna do, yeah. and you know, I think um, if I say one piece of it, you'll know the whole thing. And so, like, it's mm-hmm. it's 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 insane, but um, it but it's it takes hard work, right? It takes it takes something special. I love Michael Jackson for dropping an album, you know, once every twelve years, and you know what I mean. Nas, who drops albums, like, you know, fuck that, man. I'm gonna do it, you know, the when way I want to when I'm ready. Cook the gumbo the way it need to be cut. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I said that because you know um, I, I was freestyling at the end of it. If you could see, I, peeped, I, I was I was off the top. I thought that I'm was a cool. Head. I was I, I was like <laughs> I was like you know what you guys take this cipher the too last seriously. Of bars was like, and you know what when, the head. when you see when you see ciphers right and it's become it you like you get a bar I like it I get a bar I like it I get a bar oh that nigga's nice right how do you end those things like. Yeah, like you. Yeah. It's like it really get it, it. You, I didn't want to take that role. I just like let me be the you know goofy kid from the book. <laughs> let me be the fat kid out the group. <laughs> just be like I'm off the top. This well, like, Bugsy was kind of heavier than you. Yeah, Bugsy, <laughs> Bugsy was kind of heavier. Shots to Bugs, but he sat behind Bugsy, us. Uh, right? Malone, right? Yeah, Malone, Malone. Yeah, Bugsy's kind of heavier than you. Mike, shots to Mugsy. Shots to Mugsy. Yeah. He shots said a line in there. He said, "Everybody want to be God till they sun die." Yeah, that's that's deep. That shit hit me. You yeah. see that in the video. Yeah. I go, Jesus. Yeah. That was a dope set. <laughs> oh, bar. Dope set. Uh, yeah, that was dope. But then, but then, you know, I came in. I smashed what, it. Oh, now I'm playing. What, let me ask you. What, where was Slim at? Are they solo? I mean, it's a separate. But me being a person who did two in the music. Yeah. I was like, damn, Trips was that was the yeah. uh, brother. You gonna have to get shouts to shouts to Trips. I had him on here a year ago when he was a group. That's yeah. why I was like, yeah, shouts to Trips. Trips gonna have to tell you that story. Okay, I'm gonna have to reach out because there's a story then. there. I did. I'm sure. Then thank you. That means yeah. I'm gonna have to reach out. But there. shouts to him. The kid is amazing. Oh, he killed it too. I like shit. Yeah. Like, Everybody I complimented trips. each other on that. Yeah, like, yeah. What? I was just more like for when you my bars were like. Um, yeah. dropping the project because what it was is that I saw uh, I'm a fan of the end of the week showcases that's why you know what I mean I fuck with Poison yeah, Pain yeah. so when I saw you was there I was mad I wasn't there live but then I was like okay he's he's back doing music and then that made me go search to see that yeah you had dropped the project Yeah. so that's why I was like alright I gotta have more and I be busy then see? I saw the video drop I'm like okay because I've been following you on Twitter for a while and like a year so we would say things about music and keep it moving yeah i was like all right now that the platform is bigger here i gotta have him come up here and then you did the bt shit yeah like, this motherfucker's definitely popping back up right now yeah, yeah. we back be back and we not I'll stopping yeah i told you <laughs> <laughs> you know what i mean and we not stopping you know i got my you know i got my flower shirt on 
<laughs> That's what you want to do right now. And uh, you can't I, go, I, you can't go back from the flower show. You're gonna you're, ha- you're gonna have you're fun out. with the flower show. I was you I was happy you came with the I'm Averick so, jacket. I'm, yeah, I got the Averick. That AV was the classic. Well, I get, this is Ralph Lauren, you know, John. You know what I mean? But it's very flamingo. <laughs> And you can't come, you can't leave from here. Once you <laughs> enter this, you're, you're out there, baby. <laughs> you know what I mean? What, so we here. Why Why did you fall back from doing the segments you were doing online? You was doing One like, minute shows. And yeah. I started working with Beats by Dre. Juby, that's how you say it, the, uh, when you were doing interviews. I would do the one minute show where I would be like, "Wow!" Well, but it was another se- another title you had to it. it was a J U B Just B Just B Just B. Well, that's my company. Just B is Just okay. B is who we are. So right? it was both the same because I, I, yeah, I would it was, see where it would have Just B title to it. Yeah. Then I would see uh, the one minute. Everything that I am is Just B. Everything you see, I'll be in is Just B. Even okay. ATL too. Like that's just you know you know we're not humans doing we're human beings you All know right. and so like if you are it you can't fail at it man you know so stop saying it yo I do photography be that shit you know what I mean Kobe doesn't ever wake up and go oh my god it's the fourth quarter what do I do you know what I mean? yeah. <laughs> it's the fourth quarter that's where that's where he exists that's where he exists you know what I mean and so this is what I this is who I am so I you know just be. So, you know, so everything is under that umbrella. The segments you were doing then. Yeah, one minute shows, interviews. I like to interview. I was doing when I was around Pun. I wasn't hanging like we would do the music videos. I wasn't hanging around Pun. I would hang out. I would hang out with all the other rappers. Yeah. So I would, I would. I was like fifteen, going asking Jada like, "Yo, what's the what's the greatest verse you ever heard?" Okay. And I would ask everybody that same question. I asked Will Smith. I asked everybody, "Yo, what's the greatest verse you ever heard?" A lot of a lot of people surprisingly. Would say Capadonna, the Winter Wars, or Verbal Intercourse, Anaz, and you know a lot of people had a lot of you know rock him you know verses. But I was always interviewing, so I was like, yo, I don't want to stop that. I want to continue. Can I, can I well, make, why'd, make you, sure wait, that why'd you stop though? You said stop doing interviews with the, with the, just, the uh, beats. Yeah, I started working. I started giving. I started. Uh, let me say this correctly. I started um, uh, doing creative content with Beats by Dre, and and then who, which later became Apple. So okay. did, you know, and they kept me throughout that that acquisition. And and uh, you know, as far as in the marketing world of um, you know selling the product and adding the poetry to the the lines, I was able to do that and perfect my craft in that in that form. So I just took a little break, and you know, being being with my daughter, I think that's that was big, G. You know, yeah. uh, you have a you have a kid. You wanna you wanna um, stop, look and listen. Yeah. So I was able to be able to do that. You know, God bless us with you know an amazing assortment of individuals. I I, I was able to fucking experience at, at that at that place. You know, these people are creative and beautiful and smart, and they work hard and they teach you. They don't just leave you stranded. You know what I mean? And so. Like we worked extremely hard on things like you know the soul selfie and the you know um, the, the the straight out of Compton and you know a lot of great great um, campaigns we worked extremely hard on together as a unit. So I I got to learn that craft, you know. Okay, I didn't. I that's crazy. I because I was in tune. Uh, yeah, thank that, you. Like, yeah, you know yeah. I, mean? I had I was a lot of fans. Where that, did it go to? And then we did we did I did a one minute show. Look at that! Look at bang bang! I did a one minute show with uh, beats called um, BPM. Okay, right? Yeah. Is <laughs> which makes sense? Yeah. And uh, and uh, we did it with Fetty Wap, and I, I was the first one to ask him about his eye before <laughs> anybody. I was you, like, you said a little joke earlier too. So with Fetty Wap was from Bayonne. In Bayonne, I thought you know, no, he's from Patterson. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I remember. No, I said, I said, is Fetty Wap from here? <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. So I, I did a one minute show where I asked him about his eye. But of course, if anyone followed the one minute show, you know that um, right when he's about to answer, I'm like, oh, that's our time. <laughs> the one minute show. We, don't, we don't got no time for your answer, son. <laughs> and so, you know, I created that show because I thought it was really interviews got real whack, man. Man, I, as you know, you start interviewing with people and they say the same fucking shit. Yeah. It sounds like LeBron at the end of the game. Like, yeah, man. So, you know, we just got to play strong defense. And, um, you know, and LeBron's great. LeBron gives good interviews. But sometimes he'd be real like, and he, I think he, he just knows. He just want to get to the locker. Yeah, he just want to get to the locker. Like, <laughs> he just want to get out. Asked me this two months ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> and so, and but so, th- but that's the truth, though, and that's right? the truth. So interviews got real boring. So I was like, you know what? Fuck your answers. Yeah. 
Like I had, I had that with uh, with uh, China Mac. And what with China Mac, I was talking to him about that, and it was like, uh, he said in the interview, he was like, you know what, I like you a lot because you didn't ask me the typical jail question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, I said, yo, I know you was out there for 10 years, but yo, how did you keep your sanity? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't want to talk about, yo, so you, you know, he was, nah, like, yeah. everybody asks you that. You feel me? So it was like, yeah. that's why I told you, I don't like watching interviews of guests that I feel like I want to have on or interview them. Because like you don't want to get caught up in that. I never been locked up. <laughs> I say that on the camera. But it's too smart to get let, caught. Nah, yeah, yeah, I say that. It was too smart to get hey, caught. Hey, I say that on the camera because if you see headlines where I'm locked up, you know I ain't do shit because I lived this long without getting locked up. So some happen and get me out. You know what I mean? If you if you see this <laughs> and rewind. Go down to the precinct and free Joe Clark. Did you do something? Nah. All right. <laughs> just driving, just when you driving, doing a disclaimer right man, now? Driving, <laughs> driving in Bayonne, man. You'll know, yeah, man. Yeah, listen, don't do it out here. Don't do it out here. Uh, well, listen, we're going to play this next joint. What are we going to play, man? Straight. straight. Oh, straight with a fat ass you know crib by you know the lake. Great? We talked about this uh, person earlier. And the first thing oh. I thought about when uh, I saw it was the Roots video. Boom. You you know then. Boom. You know then. And you know what? I literally two weeks ago and she could she could she's my witness. Uh, well she wasn't there, but I literally went to Jimmy Fallon show and before I dropped the video, I asked for permission. Okay. I was like, yo, this is a dope concept that yeah. you created. Check it out. But the concept of the concept that uh you know, there's there's two worlds an artist lives. And there's a world that you, a world where you want to see the Porsche and a fly chick for no reason, and champagne being sprayed on her, or like you just drinking for no reason, and like what whose car is that that you're in, and all that shit, right? Yeah. You know, like you want those things answered. You know, what is what are these things? Because it's getting too trivia, exactly. and so and so like when the Roots did it, it was dope. I think the game kind of did it a little bit. With the by your side with yeah. Kanye, and then I think you know we we was able to really showcase yeah. our version of that in 2015. And when the Roots did it, that was actually the first video that I actually because like I said, I, I, like I'm you into music, you love hip hop, you watching all the videos, video music box, yeah. all that. You coming from New York, video New Jersey, box. yeah, you you're so I'm much in the music. Daniel. And then, but that was the first video that I watched that I was actually sitting there saying, "Oh shit, you can actually do a video." About a video, yeah. So as soon as I saw that video, when you, I said, "Oh, he caught it." Yeah, yeah. He caught it. I, at first, you don't know. Nah, at, at first, I didn't you know. I know you were on a flatbed. Right. Right. <laughs> like, I, I yeah. said, "Oh, he really going here with this." Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I tell everybody too, sort of, because I'm like, "Let's get you're out of here." It. Yeah, you say it. From the beginning, I'm like, "Let's <laughs> get out of here." I was talking to the tow truck guy. But, you but know, nobody knows when you when you do that. That's what you talking but to. But you don't know. That's the way we pull up to spots, B. You feel what I'm saying? I got the fly whip on a flatbed, B. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's, that's how we do it. You know, ooh, ooh. <laughs> you oh, know yeah, what I mean? The album. I mean, well, well, you did a great job. You did a great job playing the stuff off the album. And yeah. I appreciate it. The album is crack, man. The album is really, really um, something that I feel, um, you know, hip-hop fans... I think people that are in jail, I think people that have are on the train, people um, going to you know to another state. I think people that get time by themselves could vibe to an album and feel good. It's, it's a good car album. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think a good car album if you have a flat bag to driving you around. Right. Same thing. Same right, thing. and you could drink yeah. at that point because that's the best because you could drink. A driver. You're not really driving. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You see how that works? Doesn't even try. You see how that works? <laughs> well, what, what can they find out, man? Let everybody know where they can find out, man. They can find it on iTunes, mm. Apple Music. Um, you can find it on um, Spotify, um, Tidal. You know, you can find it all over. You and know, this is YouTube. on your own imprint? Mm hmm. Just okay. be. And Audio Dope. Shout out to Audio Shout Dope. Out Audio Shout Dope. out to Foundation Media. Those guys helped out a lot. You know, I got a lot of help. I feel like. I've been super blessed, so I don't want to. I don't want to ever take any time for granted. I'm super fucking blessed. I'm able to get a chance to 
do what I love and have a lot of great people support me, you know, and I was able to see some really cool shit, you know. Um like even being on the graduation album. Like that's kinda Kanye like West, yeah. yeah, that's kinda and like he, uh, pretty cool. Song with Tyler and Kweli. Uh, did a record with I did a record I did a record with Kwali, Black Thor and Rod Digger. Mm -hmm. That's incredible. Yeah. I did a record with just me, Karis One and M C Light. Yeah. Called sixteen seventeen eighteen. Yeah, yeah, high album. Project, yeah. And of course that Fab song that Me Da Me Da Ben Ike, that was that was hard. You know, I I've, I've been a part of some dope moments and I I love my life. I was telling um, um I was telling LB earlier. I was like, "Man, I I wouldn't want to be any LB other place." LB 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 And I I was telling uh, I was like, "Yo, I, if I had to come back as anyone, I'd come back as LB, yo. The yeah. things I was able to do, I I I'm and and what we're gonna do, man? What we're gonna do? Wait till you guys see. I just threw out the album real quick, fast, because I wanted you guys to have a foundation to go to when you see how hard we gonna work, you know, and what the work is gonna be. I, I like how you had the setting too. Well, that's what I said when I said I wanted to play uh, the actual uh, footage of you on stage doing the the uh, remix mm. of the Let Nas Down joint. I love I posted yeah. the audio because like the same way like when you watch. When you had the the album release party and you performing yeah. it and you got the setting with the couch and it's like yeah. and you got Looney D sitting there yeah like you know it's like this relaxing vibe like, it's like you're the, not forcing it the on living people. room it, yeah like, the sala know, the comfortableness of it yeah. we like, chilling apartment three yeah. B yeah holla that's that's the shit right there uptown that that vibe right there is like you know it's like yo he. he He's enjoying this. Like you said, you had to you come back, you come back the same person. Yeah. I, I feel bad for a lot of I don't feel bad, but I, I understand the other aggression where it's like, man, I gotta make it. If I don't make it, it's all over. I got this record gotta be the one. You know, and I, I feel that a lot of art has been wasted, you know, because people just have that fucking same aggression, you know what I mean? And yeah. they don't have the comfortable chill out. What 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 P was saying, you know? You fucking nice. Just be fucking nice. That's it. Yeah. Stop, That's it. Stop going so oh I gotta do this and over nah. Be basically but be yourself. He basically said that too. Just be. I mean I had I had a conversation with him too mm. uh the week before he passed because he was supposed to be a guest on the show. Mm. And and he basically came at my neck. Same kind of conversation, like, yo, you bullshit. Just do it. Stop just trying to think it out and this and that. Like, yo, you're making it harder. Yo. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm sitting on the phone like, fuck is he talking to? <laughs> like, like, yo, but yo, his rhymes sound <laughs> like he spilled them. <laughs> yo, like, <laughs> he sounds like he spilled yeah, yeah, his shit. Yeah. And it's like, and it falls perfectly on your lap. And you, you're just like, oh, shit. What was that? P. You you being as passionate you are about hip hop, like, cause you, you can see like when you're performing your song, whether it's in video or on stage, you can yeah. see it, right? You're a MC, you're not yeah. a rapper. Yeah, I understand that. People need to understand. You're not a rapper. You're MC. Yeah. You know what I mean when I say that, like, yeah. cause you actually are. You when you leave that stage and you be like, damn, yo, that feeling's in you. Yeah. And you go back and you watch it and you see it for yourself. I know you sit there and you think, yo, you know what? A lot of these artists out here is bullshit. Trash. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so you already said it. See? So you do think that like, Basuda. they bullshit. I'm coming. They don't do it no more like that. I promise you guys get your shit together. Yeah, there we go. That's I'm what I'm coming. True Talk Sessions. That's what it's called. That's it's what I was true looking for. Talk Sessions. That's what I was looking for. It's either, it's either I'm taking your spot or you guys are celebrating my death. Cause like when I when I look at not to I'm take coming. shots, but like uh, and, and we can edit this afterwards. But it's like nah, fuck no, it, no, leave no, it on. No, for example, like when I look at we live uh, still. Yeah, we still are. But uh, what's his what's his name again? Uh, uh, the, the, not the rich homie Quan dude. The other one like oh. him, Young Thug. The other one. I like seen him. him like Travis Scott is energy on stage, and right. then he did a show with Young Thug, and they going back and forth, and Young Thug comes out, and I'm like. It's like you don't want to be there. Like, what the fuck? You're not performing. Right. You know what I mean? Then Travis came out. It was just energy. He's performing it. Fuck with him. You feel me? You see the difference what I'm saying? 
Yeah, well, some people you the know, presentation, the presentation. Well, you the know, thing, the performance, like his head down. He's looking at the floor while he's rapping. I can't. What I are can't, you doing? I can't divulge too much on that. I, I do said it because we edit it if you want. To. No, no, I don't do not, that for nobody. Nah, I'm doing it for nah, you, I tell anybody to your I face. I tell you the fucking truth. I tell anybody to your face. Okay. This is my fucking culture, B. Good, I I put so MC. much money into the game. I bought you, oh, everybody's album. You know what I mean? I'm, I have I have a right to be a fan to say that was trash or that you know that was hip hop. Yeah. If there's two things I know, it's hip hop and trash. You know what I mean? And so like. Some people aren't developed yet, but they got the platform, you know. So you get you keep you keep working, and you keep you keep. Eventually, we're gonna see if his if if his show game gets even better and better and better. But we the platform that he's on, you know, everyone's eyes is on it. You know what I mean? But they what your eyes wasn't on my platform when I was down at EO Dub. Shouts to EO Dub when I was down at Sin Sin. When I was down at the New Eureka Poetry Cafe when I was touring the world doing you know spoken word and going hard and slam poetry and doing documentaries and battling pun with church lyrics and he's battling me with demonic lyrics or you know, like you didn't see that. So that all my tutelage. You you see it on stage. You're like, wait, it's, it's kind of skillful because it it's about the craft. And I think some young men get a chance to get thrown on stage. You know, I don't think. Yeah, I, so 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 to to his defense, I don't think Q Tip was an amazing performer at 19 than he was later. You know what I mean? He just grew into it, and and you know, so you got to give him that shot. But you know, when it comes to you know bars. Man, when it comes to storytelling, whew, when it comes to, you know, making sure that you have a finished product and a record that you go, wow, you know, I really, really like that from beginning, middle and end. He he kept me involved, kept me engaged. He said shit that sounded like my generation, but at the same time, he spit it like nobody else could. You know, I'll be back.